while we watch Timmy. I mean, it's fascinating to watch her use her feet, how she breaks stuff, how she eats. But she's also an orphan that came from Umbabat. I've brought her to us about five years ago. And she joined the herd immediately. She was supposed to be on milk. Um, I think the age wasn't correct. Um, you know, they thought she's a little bit older. So once she joined the herd, it was much younger than you'd usually, you know, uh, have an elephant not on milk. But because she then joined the, the herd, she didn't want to take a bottle. So what we've done is we actually gave her milk in a bucket, mixed that with pellets, game pellets. That's got a lot of nutrition in. Um, also, she wasn't as dehydrated and in such a bad condition. So that also made a huge difference. I think elephants and life were lucky enough to find her um, or to, you know, to got the call and been told off to Misa before she lost uh, too much um, weight and condition. So that also played a huge role that her condition wasn't as bad as um, that, you know, some of the other elephants that arrived. But she joined the herd. F funny enough, Fission was the one that looked after Timmy. He was very protective of her um, from the start go. She spent a lot of time with him as well. But the first day we actually ran. She, Tamisa in front, I think we covered most of the, the reserve and the herd behind. Um, she'd stop and she'll drink, uh, or try to drink and suckle from Takwe. But that night, of the second night, the first night she was actually sleeping in the Lucerne shed. She came in quite late. And then the, the first morning, we introduced her to the herd. So, well, you know, we really ran, covered the whole reserve. I think she was, you know, maybe looking for her family, but also, you know, getting to know the new family. That night, she slept in the stables with uh, Takwe and all of them. Still a little bit unsettled, but she settled in quite, quite well. And then the next challenge was... Um, you know, to, to make sure that she gets sufficient nutrition. Um, as she was still milk dependent, not taking milk, I must just remember she was still wild, didn't trust any humans, and we had to build her trust and a relationship with her. So she took on the bucket with the pellets and the milk, um, and that she got actually more milk than we usually give to um, orphans at a time. And we also weighed her frequently. She gained um, weight. And now she's really part of the herd and a lovely sister to Kanisa.
to Misa now having fishing spot and taking a bit of a, a mud balls. <laughs> <laughs> Loving this. <laughs> How much fun can this be now? On such a hot day. And Misa's taking full advantage now of this little mud hole. Hi Timmy. Good. Got the 
Thank you. 